Agile Iron's warehouse management app is designed to be used with a tablet or mobile device. It allows the user to perform warehouse management functions untethered from their computer. The functions include pick, pack, ship, receiving, stock transfers and adjustments, inventory cycle counts, adding new products and product images. This video will demonstrate how to configure the app settings and use the various features provided in the warehouse management app. Let's first look at the hardware requirements. You can see the details. Login and settings configuration. Login screen. To begin, download the Agile Iron Warehouse Management app from the App Store, either on your tablet or mobile device. Install the app, and on the login screen, enter your company's Agile Iron URL and login with the same username and password that you use to log into the Agile Iron back office. Settings Configuration Guide Link HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash learn dot agileiron dot com slash docs slash settings hyphen configuration. Once the app opens, start with the settings by clicking the gear icon. Here you'll select the default settings for the app. The settings selection includes Enable Disable Scan Units. If you enable scan units for any of the features mentioned here, the app allows you to scan the units using a barcode scanner. By default, the scan units are enabled for all the features. You can disable them as needed. Next, you need to set the default warehouse location stock location. You can change the location from the home screen anytime. Orders displayed per page. This allows changing the number of orders displayed on the screen. By default, it is set to 10. The maximum it can be set to is 100 per page. Products displayed per page. This allows changing the number of products displayed on the screen. The default is set to 10. The maximum it can be set to is 100 per page. Cycle count increase reason. Select the suitable reason when an increase in inventory is made. These selections originate from settings adjustments in the back office. Cycle count decrease reason. Select the suitable reason when a decrease in inventory is made. These selections originate from settings adjustments in the back office. Select printer. This allows selection of air printer or star printer for printing packing slips. Display product image thumbnails. When set to on, you'll see product image thumbnails in pick flow when picking products. This feature is off by default. Enabling this feature may affect the performance of the app if the image file sizes are large or you have a large quantity of images loaded. Display current quantity in cycle count. It displays the current quantity of each product in the cycle count workflow. By default, it is set to on. Inventory update CSV email address. Here you can add an email address to receive inventory updates via a CSV file. Enable Disable Workflow. All the workflows are by default enabled. However, if you wish to disable any of the workflow, click on the toggle of the respective workflow. You will notice the workflow will be disabled on the home screen as well. Sync from back office data filtering. You can filter the data of the products, shipping and receiving modules, and get a custom view of only the necessary data. Click on the down arrow, then select the custom view you want and click on Done. Inactivity Timeout Minutes. You can modify the session expire time. By default, the session expire time is set to 5 minutes. The maximum you can set it to is 100 minutes. Last one minute of inactivity, you will see a message asking whether you want to stay signed in or if you want to sign out. Next comes Display Unit Cost in Cycle Count. This will enable or disable the unit cost column in the cycle count workflow. By default, it is set to on. Stock adjustment increase reason. Select the suitable reason for the options available that states the increase in stock adjustment. Stock adjustment decrease reason. Select the suitable reason from the options available that states the decrease in stock adjustment. Enable line item shipping. By default, it is set to off. However, when the line item shipping is set to on, you'll notice only the line items in sales order associated with the selected stock location 
that is, the stock location which you have set in the warehouse app, will be displayed. For example, consider a sales order under Pick Workflow. Here you can see only a few line items. Now, when you enable the line item shipping and check the sales order, you will notice only those line items that are associated with the selected stock location. Earlier, there were seven line items, and now you can see only one line item associated with the stock location. After all selections are made, return to the home screen by clicking on the home icon. Home screen part. On the home screen, you can see the stock location is now visible. You can click on the location icon to change the stock location if needed. Click on set to save changes. Warehouse management app supports offline work. You can sync information from the back office into the app. The user will perform necessary functions in the app. As changes are made, they can be synced into the back office. As the location is set, you can sync the products from the back office to the warehouse app. Once completed, click on the Sync Orders from the Back Office button. Both products and orders are now loaded in the Warehouse app. Workflow. Pick, Pack, Ship. Now let's take a look at each workflow. Pick, Pack, Ship. Here the orders that are ready to be picked and shipped can be managed. Click on the button to view all the orders that are ready to process. You can search for the order either by entering the account name or order number. Products can be grouped by bin location or SKU code. The channel order ID is displayed for the order to identify the sales channel where it originated. At the bottom, you can see the navigation button that allows you to search through multiple pages. The app also supports the screen swipe function. The screen will move left to right depending on the way you swipe. Well, this happens when there are multiple pages. When the scan unit is enabled, you can see a plus minus sign for each product under the QTY picked column. This indicates you can scan the products using a barcode scanner. When you scan the quantity picked adds up to 1 for that particular order. In case you don't have a barcode scanner, you can also use your device camera to scan the barcode. Click on the camera icon to scan using the device camera. Let's begin by selecting an order from the list. Here we'll disable the scan units. By clicking on the order, a pop-up screen will appear for selecting the quantity from the drop-down list. You can also add product image and signature. To add a picture, click on the Add Image button. You can either upload by directly clicking Image using your device camera or select Image from the photo gallery. Simply add signature, click on Add Signature button. 
Draw the signature and click on Save. After clicking on Save, you'll be asked to enter the name of the signee. Type and click on OK. To print the packing slip, click on the Print Slip button. The packing slip template is picked from the settings template in the back office. Click on the Pick button. When you click on the To Ship Station button, the order is sent to the ship station for printing carrier shipping labels. Make sure all the products related to that order ID are picked. Here you can see the sales order is getting updated. Orders are sent successfully to the ship station. When you click on the back button, you can see a watermark of already shipped on the order which you had picked. This will give you an idea of which orders already shipped and which are updated. Once completed, click on the Done button to return to the home screen. Now update all the changes by clicking on Sync Orders and Products Update to Back Office. Workflow Receive. Let's go to the next feature Receive. This demonstrates how purchase orders are received within the app. You can control which products appear in the app for receiving by editing the custom view WH App Receiving. Click on the Receive button. Here are all the purchase orders that are waiting to be received. Orders can be fully or partially received. Users can search for a particular purchase order by vendor name or order number. At the bottom, you can see the navigation button that allows you to search through multiple pages. The app also supports the screen swipe function. The screen will move left to right depending on the way you swipe. Group by bin allows grouping of products by bin location. While group by SKU allows grouping of products by SKU code. Select a purchase order. If the scan units are enabled, each purchase order will have a plus and a minus sign under the quantity received column of the product. In case you don't have a barcode scanner, you can also use your device camera to scan the barcode. Click on the camera icon to scan using the device camera. If the scan unit toggle is disabled, select the product to add notes or bin location information. The quantity can be changed if receiving a partial order. You can also add product image and signature. To add a picture, click on the Add Image button. You can either upload by directly clicking Image using your device camera or select Image from your photo gallery. Similarly, to add signature, click on Add Signature button. Draw the signature and click on Save. After clicking on Save, you'll be asked to enter the name of the signee, type, and click on OK. Select the Receive button to finish. If no bin location or notes information is needed, you can just tap the Receive All button to receive all the products on the order.
for serialized and lot tracking products when receiving. Enter the product lot number. Enter information for each individual item like expiry date and quantity. Click on Receive, then click on Done. When all the orders are received, click on the Done or Back button to return to the home screen. Now that the order has been received, the information must be synced back into AgileIron. Click the Sync Order and Inventory Updates to Back Office button on the home screen. Workflow Stock Transfer Next, let's look at the Stock Transfer feature. With this feature, you can transfer particular products from your current location to any other location. On the top left corner, you can see your current location. Let's begin with a Stock Transfer. Here you can see Transfer To. When you click on the Select drop-down sign, you can see the list of locations. Select the location where you want to transfer the products. Currently, here you can see only one location. Now add the products which you want to transfer. There are different ways to add products. You can either type the product name, or click on the magnifying glass icon, and select products one by one. You can also click on the camera icon and scan the barcodes of the products which you want to transfer. While selecting the products, also enter the Transfer QTY for each respective product. In case of a matrix product, you can see an additional Select SKU button under Transfer QTY column. Click on it. Enter the Transfer QTY beside the SKU you want. Click on Save. If you want to delete any of the added products, simply slide left across the product row. You'll see a Delete option. Slide completely left, the particular product will get deleted. After the products are added, click on the Transfer button to complete the process. You'll see a message. Now go back to the home screen. Lastly, you need to click on the Sync Inventory Updates to Back Office button to make sure the updates you've made get reflected in the back office. Workflow Stock Adjustment Now let's look at how to adjust stock. 
This enables users to change the number of units in the stock. Adjustments can be made due to reasons such as item damage, breakage, transferred, disassembly, unfurnished, etc. Click on Stock Adjustment. Here you can see the products and their details in a tabular format. If scan units are enabled, you can see a plus and a minus sign in adjusted QTY column. You can scan units using any barcode scanner. You can also click on the camera icon and use your device camera to scan the barcode. If scan units is disabled, click on any of the products for which you want to adjust the quantity. A pop up black screen will open where you need to enter the adjusted quantity. Next, click on the Adjust button. You will notice the status of the product for which your adjusted quantity has turned green. Similarly, you can adjust the quantity of multiple products. Once done, either click on the Back or Done button. On the home screen, click on Sync Inventory Updates to Back Office button so that whatever updates you've made get reflected in the back office. Workflow Cycle Count Next, let's review cycle counts. First, click on this button. Here you can search for a product using the search box. You can enter the product name, code, barcode, etc. The app also supports the ability to either scan units with a barcode scanner or click on the camera icon to scan the product barcode. The navigation buttons at the top of the screen allow for searching through multiple pages of a product. The app also supports the screen swipe function. The screen will move left and right depending on the direction the user swipes. If scan units are enabled, you can see in the Adjust QTY column, plus sign and minus sign. This indicates you can use a barcode scanner to scan units. You will notice the status of the product for which you adjusted quantity has turned green. If scan units are disabled when you select a product, an overlay screen will open where you need to enter the quantity. The unit cost for products, excluding assembly products, can be added or adjusted on this screen. The bin location can also be added to the product on this screen. Click on the Cycle button. In case of a matrix product, also select the matrix variations like color, size, etc. Now click on the Cycle button. To cycle count lot tracked products, select the item in the list. Enter the product lot number, expiration date, quantity, and unit cost.
Clicking the Add Lot button adds an additional line for entering the next lot. To delete the line, click the red trash can icon. Enter a bin location if desired. Can update this in Enter Units mode only. Click Cycle to save changes. You will notice the status of the product for which you adjusted quantity has turned green. On the top left corner, there is a Show All Unadjusted Products toggle button. When you enable it, the Cycle Count feature will display only the product list of products whose quantity is unadjusted that are the products without green status. At the top right corner, All Unadjusted Products set zero. When you click on this button, all the products whose quantity was unadjusted will automatically now be set to zero. And you can notice the status of all the products will turn green. Lastly, Click on the Sync Inventory Updates to Back Office button on the home page. Workflow Add New Product. New products can be added easily to the Warehouse app. Click on Add New Product button. A new product wizard will appear similar to the one found in the back office. Enter the product details like product name, product code. Select Product Category, Product Type. Click Next to continue. On the next screen, Continue adding more product information. You can add a product image either by selecting a picture from the photo gallery or clicking an image using your device camera. After adding the image, again click on the Next button to proceed. Enter the pricing information. This screen displays all selling price books that have been set up in the back office. Tap the screen and scroll up or down to view more price books. Click Next to continue. Enter the vendor information. The vendor list pulls from the list of vendors under Products, Vendors in the back office. Scroll down to view more vendors in the list by tapping the screen and swiping up, down. By tapping the screen and swiping up or down, select at least one preferred vendor by tapping the Preferred button next to a vendor. Multiple vendors can be added to a product, but only one can be selected as preferred. Click Next to continue. On the last screen, click on Finish. In case of matrix item product type, you can notice a few additional steps like matrix parameters, SKU codes, and inventory information. In Matrix Parameters, you can select multiple parameters related to the matrix item.
in Step 4, enter the unique SKU codes for the matrix items that are created by combining the parameters selected in the previous step. You can also add barcodes if available. In the Pricing Info, click on the Price button against each matrix item and enter the prices in price books that you want. Purchasing info needs to be filled the same as mentioned earlier for basic item. Fill and proceed to inventory information, which is exclusive for matrix item. Here by tapping on the inventory button. Next to each matrix item, you can enter the quantity, unit cost, and bin location of each item in respective stock locations. Now click on Finish and complete the process. Lastly, you need to sync products to the back office. Workflow Add Product Picture Add Product Picture. This section will demonstrate how to add an image to the product through the Warehouse app. By clicking on the button, you can see a list of products to which you can add the picture. Select a product and click on Add Image. Images can be added by clicking a photo with your device camera or by selecting an image from the photo gallery. After the image gets displayed, click on Add Picture to save. The status will turn green indicating the product image has been updated. When all images have been added, select Done or Back to return to the home screen. Select Sync Order and Product Updates to Back Office to save the product data. This summarizes the capability of the Agile Iron Warehouse Management app. For more instructions, tips or tips, how about or tips? For more instructions or tips, you can review the Warehouse Management App User Guide. Thank you for watching the video.